standing right here on what was previously known as South Bond Street, but uh, heads up, there's a new name in town. Take a look at this, introducing Roseland Carter Trail. Now, the name change officially took place on Wednesday, August 18th, to help celebrate the former First Lady's 94th birthday. See behind me, there is some extensive damage caused from Hurricane Zeta. I'm actually going to move out of the way so you can see what's happening behind me. Ten years ago, this place right here burned to the ground, and today it begins to find new life as it welcomes Vice President-elect Kamala Harris right here to Columbus. Yeah, Crystal, that's a question many people are asking is how does someone who is fully vaccinated still get COVID-19? Even more, what's the point of a vaccine if a breakthrough case is still possible? Alabama health officials share how this happens and how many they're seeing. Now, Phil, I know you'll be out here a little bit later. I've already asked them if you can test drive this vehicle. They said no, but they are looking forward to having you out here later on this afternoon. We're live here at South Georgia Technical College where you can literally see just behind me on the other side of this fence is Jimmy Carter Regional Airport where President Biden is expected to land within the next hour before traveling over to Plains, Georgia to visit with the former president here. We were told by university officials uh, that there were two routes they could have possibly taken. Thankfully to the golf cart, we were able to get here uh, in time so we could show you the presidential motorcade leaving from Jimmy Carter Regional Airport going right here on South Georgia Tech Parkway. Well, Teresa, coming up on News 3 Night Watch, we'll hear more about the symbolic nature of this visit and why Biden-Harris supporters believe that Vice President Joe Biden can and will flip Georgia in the next seven crucial days. Pastor Loudon and I spoke about a wide range of topics from pastoring in a global pandemic, pastoring in a heated political season and pastoring a former United States president. Coming up on News 3 Evening Edition, we'll take a closer look at what the polls are predicting for this race specifically and why there could be a level of concern for Senator David Perdue in his campaign. Phil, lots of exciting things happening here, and I did find out the movie they're streaming is Hocus Pocus, but you do have to have a ticket to get into the parking lot. And right now, I'm joined by the chairman of the Georgia Republican Party, David Schaefer, who might be able to give us a little bit more insight as to what's going on in the room right now. David, thank you for your time. I mean, take me into your world. How are you feeling right now in this moment, given what you're seeing in regards to Senator David Perdue? Now, coming up on News 3 Night Watch, we'll hear from the Public Health Department and the trends they're seeing in regards to COVID-19 in our area. That's right, Shakira. I'm live here in Harris County, and I've got to tell you, in this neighborhood, it is quite the Christmas spectacle. Speaking of it, I'm going to step out of the way so you can see exactly what we are talking about here. Teresa, I hear you'll be at the beach a little bit later, so I'll make sure I pack my bathing suit when I come back. Back to you, Teresa. I'm going to hold you to that, Blake.